Hi guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Touchable to work with your Mac and Ableton Live. Touchable is a great app on the iPad for communicating with Ableton Live and doing some really awesome uh, control surface work, and you can have a lot of fun with it in the studio and in a live situation. There's a few things to do here, so let's jump right in. First thing that you're going to want to do to set up Touchable is you're going to want to download the latest Touchable server installer from touchable.com. That's touch-able.com. When you get that, just double click on it. This is going to open the disk image on your Mac. Now, just double click on that disk image. Inside of it, you're going to see the Touchable server installer. Simply double click on that and follow the instructions to install it. It's relatively easily easy and there's really no configurations that you're going to need to do. After you have installed the Touchable server, you're going to want to set up your Mac to communicate with your iPad. There's two ways of doing this. If you have a regular Wi-Fi connection, i.e. you are communicating with multiple devices through a Wi-Fi router, then you should simply be able to start up your iPad and your Mac, have them both on the same Wi-Fi connection, and then you're going to want to find the IP address of your Mac. This is easy to do. Click on the Apple icon and select System Preferences. In the System Preferences dialog box that opens up, click on Network. Now, when the Network panel opens up, if it's not selected, select the Airport on the left-hand column, and under the right-hand column, you should see the status of your airport as connected. Then, you're going to want to make note of your IP address. The IP address I have on my Mac is 192.168.1.100. Remember this because you're going to want to enter it into the iPad in order to be able to make Touchable talk to your Mac. If you are using a regular Wi-Fi connection, again through a router, this is all you're going to need to do. However, if you are using your Mac in a live situation or in a situation where you do not have a Wi-Fi router for both of your iPad and your Mac to connect to, you're going to need to set up an ad hoc network. An ad hoc network is going to allow for multiple devices to connect to your Mac wirelessly without the need of a Wi-Fi router. This is also very easy to do. First, go back into the system preferences. Now, click on the sharing icon. The sharing preferences panel is going to open up. Now, click on internet sharing on the left-hand column. In the right-hand column, you're going to see a pull-down menu marked share your connection from. Click on this pull-down menu and select ethernet. This might seem counterintuitive because we're going to be using the airport to do the communication, but you'll see how this configuration is going to work as we move along here. Now, the next thing that you need to do is share your connection to computers using your airport. So cl click the checkbox next to airport. This is going to enable sharing through the airport. Now click on the airport options. You're going to get a little pop-down panel right here. And this pop-down panel is where you're going to set up the connection preferences for the airport. Under channel, you can probably leave this at automatic. You won't re really usually need to mess around with this too much. You want to tick the box next to Enable Encryption. This is so that a password is required in order to connect to the ad hoc network that you're going to create. Make sure to do this because you don't want outside sources connecting to your Mac. After you've enabled encryption, enter a password, something that you'll be able to remember but that's a little bit complex so that other folks can't guess it. You can leave the web key length at 40-bit, that should be just fine. If you want to be a little more secure, you can select 128-bit, but 40-bit for an ad hoc network should work just fine. After you've made these configurations, click OK. Now, click the box next to Internet Sharing. You're going to get another pop-down panel, and this is going to ask if you want to turn on Internet Sharing. Of course, you do want to do this, so click on Start. This is going to start the Internet connection sharing through your airport. Now, you're going to notice that your usual airport icon here in your taskbar, instead of looking like a regular airport icon, it now has a small arrow in it. This means that your ad hoc network is up and running. If you're going to be connecting via an ad hoc network on the iPad, there's another configuration that you'll need to do on the iPad in order to make this work. We'll show that later so that you can connect the iPad to your Mac properly. 
After you've done these configurations, whether you're connecting through ad hoc or through Wi-Fi, you can simply close your preferences panel. Now we're ready to start making Touchable and the Touchable server talk to Ableton. The first thing that we need to do is open up our Applications folder on our Mac and find the Touchable server. This is going to be in a folder in your Applications. You're going to see an app called Touchable Server. Double click on this. This is going to open the Touchable server and this is how Touchable on the iPad will be able to communicate with Ableton. In the Touchable Server panel, which opens up, you probably won't need to do any further configurations in the Touchable Server. It's going to be set up and ready to go right off the bat. You're going to see that you've got some MIDI channels right here. These MIDI channels pertain to the first and second iPad. In some cases, you might be connecting a second iPad. Either way, this panel should be set and ready to go. Make sure the Touchable Server is open before you open Ableton, and now let's launch Ableton. When Ableton opens up, we need to open the preferences for Ableton. Click on Live and select Preferences. If it's not already selected, select the MIDI Sync tab. Now under the Control Surface section of the MIDI Sync tab, look for the first open pull-down menu in your Control Surface lineup. You may have other Control Surfaces set up for Ableton, so just look for an empty slot. When you find one, click on the pull-down menu, scroll down, and select Touchable Script 1. Then do the same for Touchable Script 2. After you've set up Touchable Script 1 and 2 as control surfaces, you need to set up inputs for those scripts. Click on the Input pull-down menu, and for Touchable Script 1, select Touchable Input 1. For Touchable Script 2, select, you guessed it, Touchable Input 2. All right, we're almost set and ready to go. The last thing that we need to do is under the MIDI ports section here in the Preferences panel, for Touchable Pads and Touchable Keys, we want to enable the Track On option for both Touchable Pads and Keys. This is going to allow the Touchable server to route its traffic into Ableton. After you have all of these settings done, close up the Preferences panel, and Ableton is ready to communicate with Touchable. Now we just need to tell the iPad how to communicate with Ableton and the Touchable server, and we'll be all set and ready to go. Let's jump over to the iPad right now and show you how to do those configurations. Now on the iPad, we're going to do a couple quick configurations. We need to click on Settings and then click on Wi-Fi. Now we're going to look for the Wi-Fi network, which our Mac is currently on. If you're using a Wi-Fi router, then you'll want to connect to the same Wi-Fi network that the Mac is on. If you're using an ad hoc network, you should see the name of your ad hoc network here. Then all you need to do is click to select the Wi-Fi network that you're going to be using. Everything should connect and work immediately. Now we're going to go back and we're going to open up Touchable. When Touchable opens up, it's going to ask us the IP address of the machine which we're going to be connecting to. If we're using an ad hoc network, we're going to set the IP address to 10.0.2.1. This is a standard ad hoc IP address. If you're going to be working on a Wi-Fi network, then you're going to want to use the IP address of the Mac, which we found earlier by taking a look at the network settings of the Mac. After you have entered the IP address, which corresponds to the setup that you're using, simply click on Connect, and the iPad will connect to Touchable on your Mac. Touchable will be all set. And now you can jump and take a look at our Touchable operation video to find out more about using Touchable with Ableton Live on your system.